Today, I am in the upper Alton Cemetery in Alton, Illinois. And I came out here to the cemetery to tell the story of a certain man who was buried out here, Robert Pershing Wadlow. Robert was the tallest man in recorded history. Robert Wadlow was eight foot, 11.1 inches tall when he died. And he never stopped growing either. But I won't get into much more detail until I find his grave. This is a big cemetery. There's a lot of burials out here. And it says on his find a grave that he's in section four. Unfortunately, there's no section markers in this cemetery. So I'm just kind of walking, trying to find it. I'm on a little bit of a time crunch because there's a couple other cemeteries that I want to go check out for you guys. Anyway, I will be back when I find it. All right, I finally found it. Here is the final resting place of Robert Pershing Wadlow. He was born February the 22nd, 1918 and died July the 15th, 1940. So it's kind of interesting his story. When he was born, he was normal size for a baby. And then after about six months, his parents started noticing that he had, uh, he was a little big for his age. I think by the time he was a year and a half, he had already been close to 70 pounds. By the time he was five years old, he was five foot four. By the time he was eight years old, he was six foot. And then when he was 18, he was eight foot four inches tall. He wore a size 37 shoes. His feet were so big and he didn't normally have shoes that fit him. Those size 37 shoes were custom made for him for free. And he would go on tour around the country showing off these shoes for the shoe company kind of as a courtesy and uh he ended up getting blisters while he was in michigan on this tour and uh he got an infection a pretty bad infection doctors did a surgery on him and they did a blood transfusion and the infection didn't go away so he ended up dying at the age of 22 and he was born here in alton illinois as well by the time he died, he was eight foot 11.1 inches tall. And he was the tallest man who in recorded history has ever walked the earth. When he was buried, his casket, if I remember correctly, was 500 pounds and he was 500 pounds. So the total there is a thousand pounds. And uh, I think I read they had to have 18 pallbearers. Pretty sure that was the case. As you can see on his grave, he was also a mason, the tallest mason to have ever lived. When he was buried to ensure that nobody was going to try to dig him up for scientific purposes or just to be a freak, they put him in the ground and then laid him in a, uh, a reinforced vault to ensure that nobody would ever dig him up. 8 foot 11.1 .1 inches, almost 9 foot tall. That's insane. If you go to a Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum anywhere in the country, I think that most of them, if not all of them, have a uh, life-size replica, like a mannequin of him, and like his actual shoe size and stuff. They have shoes that was his size and everything. Over here are his parents, Harold and Addie. And then uh, Betty Berta is his uh, sister. And then Eugene was his brother. And I think um, Kimma might have been Eugene's daughter. I'm not sure. I didn't check. And then over here is Harold, who is Robert's brother. So that is the story and the grave, the final resting place of Robert Pershing Wadlow.